I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story. A beautiful day in Illinois. Our friend Dennis Durge is bringing you an amazing Buick as usual. Dennis, what did you bring today? I brought a 1950 Buick Roadmaster convertible, one of 2,900 ever built. Uh, it's been, re we restored it frame up. Uh, it's a 46,000 mile original car from <laughs> Southern California originally. Uh, no rust at all. It just turned out beautiful. We did a full restoration on it, and the car runs and drives beautiful. You can see me beaming, and there's nothing more to say. 46,000 original miles on that big toothy grin. Now, you've had this one, Dennis, since when? About five years. About five years. And let's take a look at that wonderful badge up front. This gorgeous gun sight, rocket-like hood ornament, stretching the chrome all the way to the windshield. And I need to show you this car from the side, the angle there. Look at these big, almost like a gate. A security gate not letting you through the Buick 8. The headlights, what are these running lights in the bumpers? Parking lights. Parking lights. Turn signals. Turn signals, really, okay. Let's step back from this one. Come on back with me, Dennis. So, Dennis, you don't have this out very often. No, I haven't had it out for quite a while. Well, I am tickled that we are videoing it here today for the people to see. <laughs> That's quite amazing. Let me start off with something that I wasn't sure about. This word, Roadmaster, right here, especially how prominent and yellow it is. I had thought maybe that was something that Dennis did, but he says, no, that's exactly how the factory had. And look at the wonderful little edges. They didn't have to do all that. And then notice the chrome comes around the windshield and the nice curved windshield. We're gonna keep the top up today, although it's a perfect day, just because we don't wanna crinkle that top, and that's fine with me. But take a look at the beautiful chrome down here. Dynaflow. They didn't have to put that chrome piece there. However, they did. <laughs> it's just... Let me show you. I want to see if I can get it. Look at the paint on this car. Dennis, how did you do this? Get the paint to look showroom new. It's base coat, clear coat. It's a lot of, a lot of sand and a lot of buffing. Just hours and hours of work. My goodness. I mean... The paint, I think if I show it to you that way, especially black, there's this nice little crimped in the hood there, just giving it just a tad more style. Wow. <laughs> the Buick hubcaps, this chrome piece, this chrome spear that juts out from there and comes the length of the car. Wow. Notice on the top, this flap right here with a chrome piece. The little classy window, so if you were in the back, you felt like a movie star. And this baby has back. That is wide. <laughs> wow. Let's show you some trunk and treats. So for those of you who enjoy the trunk and treats, well, we have just that for you today. So this is 1950. Your quick and easy starting engine instructions, just like that, okay? You have your, for summer comfort, your travel guide, For an easy going life, let Dynaflow do it. Look at the face. <laughs> it 
just great. There's your shifter. Just fantastic. Our 50 Buick shop manual. Oh, and that's the real deal. And this is back when you actually opened up the shop manual and did it yourself. The owner's guide. Shows how this flows. All original, as Dennis is sharing. Shows how the airflow works there. You can see the little arrows. That is just great. The owner's guide gives you your table of contents, a little wisping air behind it, all the engine and serial number information. Lots of room in this trunk, full-size tire. Take a look at, you've got a light there. Just wonderful, nice carpeting, so classy back in this time frame. And that's our trunk and treats. And we're back. So as I get closer to the back of this one, those are the reverse lights? In the bumperettes? Those are backup lights. Backup lights. The wonderful jewelry that says Dynaflow. Dennis showed that that opens up. That badging there. And with all of this back, just two little baby lights like that. And that exhaust. Dennis, can we open it up? Thank you. large door you really have your arm way up there could you just stand next to it you're about six foot tall so that that shows you i mean that door's up there right i mean that that door it's not low to your hip here's your tire pressure you know your locking mechanism that comes into this device you know nothing that you're greeted by that says buick or anything like that but look at the door your armrest, your power everything, this controls that. And let me let you take a look at that instrumentation. Look at this beautiful paperweight-like image. There's your Dynaflow giving you a grasp and a handle. Just and those, I'll zoom in on it, are the original miles. Those are the original miles. And occasionally Dennis will sell them. So if you've ever wanted to see the cars that I'm aware of that are for sale, you can come over to the website My Car Story with Lou, mycarstorywithlou.com, and you can just go to the cars for sale. Now, Dennis, I see there's a bar that has Buick. If you press that, does that like turn the selector? It's called a Wonder Bar Radio, and it changes stations. If you push the if you push the Wonder if you bar. push that bar, got it. Clearly marked heater, lights, ventilation. Look at this here. You can see it says warmer clock. Look at just the the numbers. Just fantastic. And then you've got you know your on off. There's your top if you're wondering where that's at.
great sound to the horn, your brake. Now there's a hood, you'll notice, I'm just going to go around to both sides. But also something that I thought was interesting, when you went to the glove box, so there's your other hood, when you went to the glove box, it was this little to the owner key information. That was interesting to me, I like that detail. Dennis, let's uh, pop this hood, shall we? Pull it from there. Let me show you kind of how that looks and works. So he sets it that way. And if we come on this side, which is a little bit more of the attractive side, and you'll see why I say that in a second, you have the Buick. Fireball. This is straight eight. What's the cubic inches, Dennis? 320. 320. Dyna Flash 8. Hydraulic lifters. Hydraulic lifters. The all important body tag. And look at the mechanism. We'll take our time here. Coming across this way. You have your battery here with a big to the ground distributor. I'll show this this way. You won't be able to see it if we open the other side. Pause on that for a second. Your air cleaner. Can we show them the other side too, how it opens? Just because it'll have the light in there? So it opens that way. You pull your hood latch this way. Pretty convenient for your mechanic. That's amazing how they did that. Hood just lifts right off if you're going to work on it. Is that right? I did not know that. So there's your carburation, your firewall, your air, air cleaner. It goes right up to your carburation. Can we start it? And we'll let it idle. In that thing at all. I mean, that thing is smooth. Oh, it's very smooth. Very smooth. Wow. And that sounds a little high idle. And there's low idle. Now, Dennis, you work for Buick dealership you owned for 40 plus years. Yes, I did. Where does this one rank in all of those cars? I mean, this has got to be up there. This is uh, one of the nicer ones, yes. Ro <laughs> Roadmaster convertible, they're just they're just great cars. <laughs> this is fantastic. Uh, let me listen to it idle. I don't even know if we'll be able to hear it. But we can hear it. Well, that's 50s. Smoothness right there. Dennis, while well, we've got it this way, could you step on the tail lights for just a second? Oh, I know he hasn't had it out in a while. That's moisture coming out. Exhaust. There's the tail lights. Look at that. Just little babies. Just little babies. Dennis, give it a rev for a second. Well, Dennis, I have good news for you. It's been so long since you've taken it out, it's got a little moisture in there. I think we're going to have to take it for a ride to really clean out the exhaust. What do you think? We could use a clean out. All right, let's do it. So I'm here with Dennis, and we're taking a ride in the convertible. This car is just wonderful to be in. I mean, the presence is amazing. Dennis, you called it something. What did you call it? A floater. A floater. It floats when you drive it. It floats when you drive it. And... I want to say when you're when you're driving it, how do you feel driving? Because you don't drive this one that often. No, I don't drive it very often, but it's fun to drive. You get a lot of you get a lot of thumbs up, and everybody looks at it. You don't see many of them around. 
But when you're, that's a great point. When you're at a car show, even if it's a Buick car show, how many 50 Roadmasters do you run into? Never any. You've never run into any? Not a convertible. And, you, and you've been, we're good on this side, thank you. And you've been at car shows pretty much your entire life, and so have I have. Yeah. This is just an amazing car. So I want to show people what floating seems like. So just enjoy this. Let your blood pressure come down. And we're going to let you enjoy this ride with us. And float along in the early 50s. Just melts. It's so smooth and shovel into the road. Perfect day. Perfect country road. And a great boy. Yeah, we both smart. We we both start to smile. I love to drive this car. Yeah, right? I mean uh, so much fun. 46,000 miles, how did that happen? I don't know, I've got all the documentation from when it was born, and uh, the miles are original. I got everything coincides right. Yeah. This was originally an engine number car. What does that mean? Well, some cars were serial numbers, but early Buicks were engine number cars instead of a VIN number car. Oh, okay. They have a serial number, but the, the title goes by engine number. The title goes by engine number. Like a lot of them. I, you know, that's one of the things I love about the channel is I'm learning all the time. I've already learned two things just on this car alone, which was great. And let me let you float down the road with us. I mean, we are literally floating. We're floating. You can't feel bumps, you can't feel rough. Yeah, you're right, you can. You notice the turn signal lowers on the right hand side. Okay. Very unusual. Okay. That's the way they made it. Got it. With a big engine, it gets up and goes pretty good. It'll go 100, 110 miles an hour. Really? It's straight in. It's really fit. It runs good on the highway. Wow. I mean, it's running good now. We're doing, what, 50, 60? Yeah. Yeah, it runs really good. Well, Dennis, what a wonderful car. Great time hanging with you. As usual, both of us are smiling. <laughs> we feel like we've, we've just swallowed the canary or the cat. This car is just great. Thanks so much for being on my car store. Thank you, Lou.